Muli po magandang araw. Ito po si Eli Saludar at syempre sundan nyo rin po yung aking YouTube channel ka Eli at Eli Saludar sa YouTube. Okay po at uh, ito ang uh, inyong kaibigan, former Secretary Jim Paras. Dito po tayo sa programang Iparas kay Paras. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. At ano paglilawan po ang maestro, nagpupugay ng isang magandang hapon, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. At siyempre pinakamainit na isyo, pinag-uusapan pa rin itong may kanalaman sa Charter Change. At uh, lalo na ho, ito hong uh, People's Initiative, Secretary Jim. Yes, at uh, dito mapakinggan natin po yung chairman ng Committee on uh, Constitution, no? Uh, revision at saka electoral reform, electoral reform. itong uh, number one senator, no? member ito ng Pilipilaban pero ang laking insulto dito sa ginawa ni Subire dito kasi siya ang chairman pero hindi pinahawakan sa kanya yung uh, uh, pag uh, ikangay pag uh, maniobra or uh, pag uh, Pagdinig. Uh, pagdinig ng uh, ng uh, ikangay economic uh, proposal uh, economic amendments amendments to the economic provisions of the hmm. constitution kaya nagsalita siya na pabor siya sa uh, PI o ito pakinggan natin ang interview kay ginoong senador Robin Padilla some have said that the people's initiative is already dead in the water. Patay na daw. What are your thoughts? Uh, una po, a'udu billahi minas shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ako po ay masyadong apektado kapag kayo ang ang binabanatan, yung people's initiative. Kasi hindi po dapat yun ang binabanatan noong uh, ng lahat ano kasi itong people's initiative ito ay nasa konstitusyon malinaw na malinaw ito uh, article 6 nandiyan yan article 17 nandiyan yan kung meron tayong problema ngayon sa isinasagawang people's initiative wag natin banatan yung people's initiative ang banatan natin yung paraan kung paano ito ginawa at yung paraan kasi na ginawa nila yung tanong yung, pag, yung tanong na ibinigay sa tao at yung pinirmahan ng tao yun ang kine-question natin kasi kung pagka inulit-ulit natin na yung people's initiative patay na eh para nating nilalabag ang konstitusyon nun kasi ang linaw sa konstitusyon na may people's initiative talaga ngayon ang questionin natin kung paano ito isinagawa kung tama ba legal ba huwag nating sasabihin na matay na yung people's initiative ay huwag po dahil karapatan po ito ng taong bayan ito po ay eh, meron kayong uh, kaparehas na kapangyarihan ng mga senador at mga congressman eh huwag po nating ano huwag nating uh, sabihin patay na o, po, sabihin po natin mali yung pamamaraan Bango. Okay, isa po kayo sa pumirmano sa manifesto ng Senado because the Senate unanimously signed the manifesto expressing the disapproval of the manner in how this people's initiative was conducted. Senator Padilla, para po sa inyo, itong pamamaraan kung paano nila kinalap ang mga lagda, legal ba to o illegal? Ah, uh, una po kapag uh, sinabi natin na nangalap sila ng signature, legal 'yon. 'Yun po ang sinasabi talaga. Sa batas kailangan makakuha ka ng 12% ng uh, uh, populasyon ng botante at 3% sa bawat distrito. Kung 'yun ay ginawa, eh legal 'yon. Ngayon, kung gumamit ka ng pondo ng bayan at 'yan ay napatunayan, 'yun ay illegal. Pero yan eh para pat mapatunayan yung mga sinasabing nagkaroon ng bigaya, nagkaroon ng ganun, mahirap yun. Of all senators so far, uh, with your respect to the others who just remain silent, eh, kukunti lang naman yung nagdadadal na mga senador uh, maliban sa uh, Senate President na, na nagkikriticize at 
actively participating in putting to blame the House of Representatives. Eh, ito lang yung napaka pragmatic, hindi man lang ito well-educated, uh, artista, pero he talks sense. Uh, with your respect dito kay Ruben Padilla. When he says na, wag naman tayo mag-akusa. Uh, kasi, he's very pragmatic, mga kababayan, dahil masyadong naib itong mga senador. As if hindi namimili ng boto. As if hindi naggumagasto sa eleksyon. So tulad ng sinasabi ni Robert Padilla, yung pagpangalap ng mga signature, <coughs> eh, that will really entail expenditures, not necessarily buying the votes. But syempre, kung mayroong, depende kasi yan sa proseso ng mga grupo na nag-organize. Eh kung papuntahin nila yung mga, mga taong bayan, sa isang lugar, eh siyempre babayaran nila yung pamasahe, di ba? Oo. Oh. Oh. And, and for all we know, there will be vote buying. Oh, eh, bakit? Sino bang, sino bang politiko na tatayo ngayon na wala siyang ginasto sa eleksyon? Lalo na itong mga party list. Ang hilig na bumili ng boto yan. Nag-iikot yan sa mga ano? Ha? Ah? Oo. Oh. Yeah. Uh, pumupunta sa mga bailiwick nilang probinsya. So, with your respect, tama siya, uh, yung People's Initiative. However, eh, naunahan lang yung House of Representatives sa ingay. Hmm. <laughs> At saka may mga lobas kasi na ebidensya na di umano, hmm. ay uh, yung pirma ay may kapalit. At may mga testigo na hindi nila alam yung kanilang pinipirmahan. So, Siguro nagkaroon ng pagkukulang doon yung mababang kapulungan ng Kongreso well, para pa i-depensa. Yes, isa pa yan. Pero, okay, presuming na namamatay na ito, People's Initiative or Nahinto, eh, pinapatuloy. Ha? Dahil sabi daw ni Marcos uh, Jr. na kalapat-dapat lang na ma-amend ang uh, economic provisions para Uh, to suit uh, the idea to suit to the idea na magkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na makakalap ng investors para yung mga investors foreign investors ay uh, maiinganyo na mag uh, uh, invest sa ating bansa dahil maayos yung mga provision ng batas lalo na sa saligang batas so ito po ang nakakatawa dito. Kasi para sa akin, bilang isang abogado, no, hindi naman tayo nag, nagmamalaki at nagmamarunong, <coughs> pero may pagkakataon na napag-aralan natin ang gusto ito dahil magaling yung aking professor, ha? si Justice ha? Vicente Mendoza Jr., Si B, he's known as B.B. Mendoza, one of the best constitutionalists of the land. Uh, he was my professor in the UP College of Law. Ang uh, ito ang sinasabi ni Mendoza. But anyway, before that, ipakita po natin mga kababayan, itong sinasabi nilang resolution seeking to amend economic provisions. Oh, ito po, uh, pakita natin. Just in, the resolution seeking to amend the economic provisions of the Philippine Constitution formally raised to a Senate panel for review. Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri filed resolution of both houses number six last week after President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. directed the upper chamber to take the lead in reviewing the economic provisions of the Constitution. Senators held a caucus today, Monday, on the matter, leading to the resolution being sent to the Senate Committee on Constitutional amendments and revision of codes chaired by Senator Robin Padilla. The move comes amid a push for a people's initiative to amend the charter. So, resolution. Pero, mayroon pa ba tayong narinig? Ha? Kasi, dalawa kasi yan, mga kababayan. Eh. Mayroong tinatawag na legislative function 
ng Kongreso at mayroong tinatawag na uh, Constituent Assembly Function. No, function to uh, convene a Constituent Assembly. So, as a uh, Legislative Assembly, they are called Senators on the one hand, the other one is Congressman on the other hand, no? Representatives. Pero, in a Constituent Assembly, which should be formally convened, hindi na yung Congressman at Senator. Membro na sila ng Constituent Assembly. They become Assemblymen. Assemblymen or... Constituent what? Assemblymen. Oh, so, tinanong natin ngayon... Regardless itong, of whether they're uh, Congressman or, or senator. senator. Tatanungin natin ngayon, ipinag-alalan ba ng Senado it, at ng Kongreso itong ginagawa nila? Na they already proceeded to come up with resolution number 6 at pag-aralan na, nagkakalap na sila ng mga uh, ikangay, mga nag, kumukuha na sila ng mga mga argumento uh, committee hearings committee hearings gumagawa na silang committee hearings at nag-iimbita na but, ang tanong, ano bang ano bang ano bang, ano bang, ano bang, ano ninyo? Ano bang status ninyo? as a legislative or as a constituent assembly. Kasi wala akong narinig na nag, mm. nag-tipon-tipon or nag, ano bang tawag niyan, nagsama yung dalawa na mag-convene into a constituent assembly. They're huh? functioning as two separate bodies still. They are still oh. functioning as a legislative. And yet, they're already doing amendments to the constitution. Kasi this is already a part and process of the amendment kung magkukonsulta ka sa taong bayan eh. Ha? O, ito po. Uh, basahin natin yung Article 17. O, ito. <coughs> ano po ba yung nakasulat dyan sa Article 17? Article 17, Amendments or Revision. Section 1, Any amendment to or revision of this Constitution may be proposed by the Congress about, upon a vote of three-fourths of all its members or a constitutional convention. Hmm. Yun yung constituent assembly. Uh, now, uh, ito po ay inisplika. This was explained by uh, legal luminary Justice Mendoza. Uh, basahin po natin yung kanyang distinction. He made a distinction between Congress as a legislative body where you are called the senators as senators on the other house as representatives. Pero sinasabi ni Justice Bidosa, but when you work on the amendment of the Constitution, you are no longer functioning as a legislative body, but now as a constituent assembly. As a legislative body, uh, you can vote uh, <coughs> separately as <coughs> senator as congressman then you go into a bicameral pero dito sa constituent assembly sinasabi ni Justice Mendoza eh when you convene a, a constitutional a constituent assembly you are just all of you ha huh? hindi na wala nang distinction kung senator or congressman that is why, uh, kung magbutuhan, bibilangin lahat na miyembro ng constituent assembly, regardless of senator or ano or uh, congressman. congressman, to get the three fourths votes of uh, of the amendment. Okay, ito po basahin natin itong explanation ni Justice Vicente Mendoza. Ito po sinasabi niya. The House of Representatives and the Senate should convene together as one body in discussing the proposed amendments to the 1987 Constitution. During a Senate subcommittee deliberation on resolution of both houses, number six, which proposes amendments to certain economic provisions of the Charter, Mendoza argued that Charter change was not the work of Congress since the senators and representatives were supposed to meet as a constituent assembly, as spelled out in Article 17 of the Constitution. 
it is a non-legislative function. It is just as important as the declaration of a state of uh, a state of war, which requires Congress to meet jointly as one assembly and vote separately. Mendoza said at the six-hour hearing, "If you regard the amendment of the Constitution as important as that, would there be doubt in your mind that it is not Congress as a lawmaking body, but one that wears a different hat that is, that is of being a constituent assembly?" Pointed out, according to the retired justice, the House and the Senate should not should hold a session together and jointly pass a resolution convening themselves as a constituent assembly. In fact, Mendoza said the Supreme Court had previously ruled in two separate cases that when they act as an assembly, they do not act with any distinction whether they are senators or congressmen. So, yung po, ngayon, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of people's money. Itong ginagawa ngayon ni Angara, ha? na naghiring siya, at sabi, October pa daw, because... They are doing a legislative work. They are not acting as a member of the Constituent Assembly, but as a senator. So, invalid po yung ginagawa nilang amendment to the economic provision. On the other hand, ang Congress, ah, gumagawa din siguro sila, I don't know kung anong resolution nila, na... Ano, uh, they are also acting as representative. They are not acting as a member of the Constituent Assembly. Kaya nga po, uh, ito po ay dapat ituwin ng mga congressmen at mga senator. Uh, I think they will be rebuked by the Supreme Court once they... Kasi marami kasi uh, masyadong takot binabantayan nila yung kanilang uh, turf na hindi ma madiskarel but na kalimutan po nila mga kababayan na hindi nila nagawa yung duty nila sa constitution kung mag-amend ka ng constitution dapat magkunbin kayo as a constituent assembly bago kayo gagalaw Otherwise, you'll be wasting people's money. You'll be wasting resources of government by what they're doing now under this resolution number six. Because that resolution number six is passed by the Senate, not as a constituent assembly. So, paano maging valid yan as a, uh, a legal amendment to our constitution? Yun po ang sinasabi po ng ating butihing Justice, and I believe in him. I studied under him, and my political law, and I still have that uh, grasp of uh, what he said. And I'm willing to debate with any of these uh, bombs in uh, those uh, congresses. Pero may binabagit mismo naman si Pangulo eh, mm. tungkol dyan. Mm. Ito, sabi niya, mm. now there's advice that we are getting, the best analysis and interpretation that we have <coughs> is that the legislature is of bicameral uh, nature and therefore that implies that they will vote separately. Yan po sabi ni Pangalong Marcos Jr. Oh, ito bubuhan yan. Wala yan doon sa sinasabi niya. He's talking about, alam mo, that's why nakakatawa nga because ito itong mga senador na iba na hindi nagbabasa at hindi nagbabasa ng mga jurisprudence. Bakit dami niyan? As cited by Justice Mendoza. There's no such thing as bicam bicameral. Bicameralism when you amend the constitution. Bicameralism pertains to the legislative uh, function. Ha? Huh? You only talk of bicameralism when you when you pass law or when you when you propose bills and become law after it's signed by the president what we're talking here is not uh, passing of a law but amendment of the constitution mm. and how do you amend the constitution nakalagay doon sa article 7 ibalik mo ngayon mm. article 17 tatlo 
Constitutional, Constitutional Assembly, Constitutional Convention, Convention and People's Initiative. Okay. In a Constitutional Assembly, which is already defined by the Supreme Court, hmm. uh, any amendment, oh, the Congress upon a vote of three fourths of all its members. All oh. or, oh, oh, a Constitutional Convention. Oh. So a vote of three fourths, meaning to say. Pareho <coughs> pareho na sila, wala lang senador at congressman. Pero pinakamainam talaga niyan na uh, Secretary Gicado. Mm. Sa huli talagang dapat mag magsalita ang Supreme Court. Hindi. Para maliwanag na. Alam mo, tapos na kasi ito <coughs> rin naman ang sasabihin ko, no? Mm. The Supreme Court is a passive body. Mm. It will only take due course upon a certain issue when they acquire jurisdiction. In other words, Someone has to... Hindi, may nag-file na nga na dyan sa Supreme Court. Dapat sana, noong pa, mm -hmm. noong pa yan, pinaila na ano. Pero may jurisprudence na, as cited by uh, Justice Mendoza, na talagang, uh, they have to convene. Mm -hmm. Ito lahat na mga pinaggagawa ni Lapi, ay, o mga ganon, this is useless. Ako, ang pananaw ko dyan, ha, bilang komentarista, mas maganda, constitutional convention eh. Para kasi... What, lahat nagbabantayan, naglalamangan o naghuhulan. Actually, oh. pag-aralan ko nga ngayon yan. Kasi mm. kung itutuloy nila yan, yung resolution number 6, tutuloy nila at mag sila as a legislative body, mm. retaining themselves as congressman and you, you challenge it. senator, yes, it's a challenge natin yan sa Supreme Court. Mm. That, that is illegal. Mm. It does not conform to the Constitution when it says that they have to convene as a mm. constituent assembly to uh, propose amendment to the Constitution. Okay. Yun po ang nakikita kong mm. ano dyan, uh, mga kababayan. Okay. So, uh, abangan, natin. Po, abangan natin. Mm. Ah, kung anong, sana may makapag-aral at nakuha nila yung, mm. yung uh, sinabi ni Justice B.B. Mendoza. Mm. Okay, ito naman sa Land Bank. Mm. Okay, ang Land Bank daw ay kumita ng 40 Oh, ito, pakita natin. Yung, uh, yung naka, ano, nakapagtala sila ng record, uh, 40.3 billion pesos na net income okay. noong 2023. Oh. Well, laki ah. Laki. Mm -hmm. Okay, baka kukunin na naman yung Marley Kapan dyan. <laughs> okay, do. Anong oh, detalye niya? Ano sabi mo dyan? State-run Land Bank of the Philippines had a banner year under its new president and CEO Lynette Ortiz. Landmark reported a 40.3 billion net income in 2023, up by 34 percent from its 2022 profit. This was the first time that the lender breached the 40 billion mark and exceeded its full-year target by 5 billion. Okay. Ang tanong jan, kumita ka nga, pero did you perform your mandate uh, as uh, what was envisioned of Land Bank? to pero, be lender of mm, the farmers. Pero Secretary G, napansin ko, ikinumpara noong 2022. Mm. Eh, kagagalan natin pandemic, natural yun. Mm. Mm. Diba? <laughs> Oo nga. Hindi, Dapat eh, bago mag-pandemic. Bago mag-pandemic. Actually, mm. may exemption dyan na pwedeng gawin ng mga banko. Mm. No? Kung ayaw nilang magpahiram sa farmer. At palagay ko, hindi naman sila nagpahiram sa farmer dyan eh. Hindi nga. Anong solusyon? Anong reason ko? Eh, bagsa ka ng reconsure eh. Mm. Oh, so, That's exactly, exactly what I'm saying. Oh. Nagyayabang siya na kumita. <coughs> pero, ang tanong, tinumply mo ba yung mandato ng Land Bank? Yun, para sa mga magsasaka. Kasi, naghihilap ang magsasaka. Ikaw, kumikita ka Land Bank, pero, ayaw eh, mong malugi ka, pero, ginawa mo yung trabaho mo na ipapahira mo sa farmers. Kasi ang mga farmers ang naghihirap. Pinahira mo ba? Because that is the mandate of Land Bank. Pero anong ginawa mo? Ito. Pinahira mo ng 20 billiones. Oh. Tingnan mo itong Aboites. Oh. Closing in. Aboites partner on track to seal 1.8 billion Coca-Cola deal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Napunta sa soap drinks. Ano ba yan? Magsasaka ba yan? Uh, huh? The Aboites family is set to proceed with its acquisition of Coca-Cola Beverages Philippines in partnership with Coca-Cola Eura Pacific Partners following approval from the Philippine Competition Commission. <coughs> oh, ayan. Ha? Huh? Sa ano kasi, Secretary, sa Agri-Agra Law, 
pwede silang hindi mag-loan mag sa uh, sa agriculture pero yung pera na 25% na loanable magbabayad lang sila ng penalty sa sa ano sa central bank ha para wala nang ano kasi kung hindi sila nagpa sa under the agri agro lo magpahiram ka up to 25% of your portfolio or if you don't want to lend to the farmers and the fisher folk you pay the corresponding penalty for the amount hindi kalokohan yun I don't think uh, that is the intent of the law that created the land bank. Because, kaya nga land bank eh, land eh. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, and the mandate is uh, to propel, I mean to, to propel or to uh, empower uh, farmers by lending to them their needs uh, to develop agriculture. Hmm. Eh, pero dito, Pinahiram yung aboytis ng 20 billion. O anong ginagawa ng aboytis? Bibili ng Coca-Cola. Hindi <laughs> ba yun sa land? Wala. Hindi magsasaka? Hindi <laughs> ba sa pagsasaka yun? Hindi. Wala <laughs> yun. Ah. Siguro hinayon nila lang, lang yung magsasaka na uh, lagay ng Coca-Cola sa bote. Hmm. Kinumbert kasi nilang international bank, commercial bank. Ay, okay naman yon para mas lalong lumago pero wag mong pabayaan yung talagang pinakamandato na tulungan yung sektor ng pagsasaka oh, agrikultura eh, dito sa ating bansa oh. eh. mm. we are in a terrible state mm. of that's why decade. that must be rebuilt yung land bank mm. ha? so I'm saying that this Ortiz has nothing to brag about unless she will show us that yung income ng land bank after is an after uh, the fact na yung mga farmers ay napahiram at kita yan dahil galing doon sa production ng mga farmers at hindi galing sa commercial mm -hmm. transaction yes yun, yun ang, ano then we will praise her for that but unless she will show it hindi lang yabang na ano baka mamaya ginamit niya sa commercial banking yan eh eh, yung expertise niya, galing siya sa commercial banking, eh, then, kawawa ang Filipino people. Kawawa ang taong bayan. Oh. Ito ang mga issue na dapat hinihiring ng Senado at saka ng Pukasyon. Oh, sa useless na mag, uh, maglagay ng, uh, maglagay ng uh, committee hearing na hindi naman nag-convene uh, ang Constituent hmm. Assembly. Oh, eh, anong klase na... Uh, <coughs> klaseng ano, hindi pinag-aralan. Mga abogado naman sana yung iba dyan. Ha? O. Oh. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Yun. Okay. So, yun ho. Hanggang siguro, abangan natin at sana, sabi mo nga, ma, ano, no, maripaso yung sa land bank. Yes. Oh, yes. Pati yung sa, ano, di ba, yung kasama yung kinukunan ng budget ng, ano, marli ka, oh. ADB. ADB. O, oh, yun. Or DBP pala. DBP. DBP. Pala. DBP. 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 Yung DBP oh. naman, hmm. for commercial talaga yan. Oh. For mga middle mga medium medium and small scale industries mm -hmm. no pinapahiram diyan no mm -hmm. so yun po mga kababayan uh, maraming po salamat sa pakikinig nyo sa aming programa iparash kay paras maraming sa muli naman na ating pagkikita okay salamat po magandang hapon <laughs>